All right, we'll make some spider tile. This is a sample I made real quick. Now let's make the real thing. All right, so I got a piece of foam board from, it's the foam board from the Dollar Tree with the black already on there. And I just painted places where I cut it black. I put a dot of black paint in the center and swirled it around and then just brushed it out sort of to give that maybe a little bit of a 3D appearance like it's getting deeper. So now we're just gonna take some string, some thread, if I can find the end. So we'll take some thread cut that and we'll just cut a couple pieces now we'll get the hot glue and you just barely want to just enough to dab it on because you're using the it's just really thin thread, so. Don't need much to hold it. All right, so now we'll just sort of dab it in the middle. Like that, just sort of move it around. And just start just barely doing any, just enough to get a tad bit out and just move it with the hot glue. And just start and on the corners here. We want to sort of round it off. We're going to go ahead and put some on the side and round it off. And then put it on the side, round it. And just take whatever you got and just, just maybe pull some more. Just pull it. Just go all over. Just clip your strings. All right, so now we're just going to dry brush it. Get your white and just Go 
a slightly dry brush your hot glue in the string. There we go. You'll get a little bit on the black, but that's fine. That's just gonna give it a little bit of, of uh, character there. All right. And now you got a three by three spider web tile. Easy, quick, and you're done. All right, so I just basically sort of did the same thing I did with the uh, three by three spider web. I just did it with hot glue. But I didn't use any string, I just did the hot glue, you know, spread it out, made circles. And then here I just sort of went zigzaggy and Xing and crossing and like that, and just focused on corners to make more look like the webs. All right. So now, you know, maybe in the corner, you take you a Q-tip, I mean a cotton ball, and just sort of shape it in like a a cocoon type thing to where maybe it's a person and then get a little hot glue maybe we'll put it in the corner and just sort of move it all around to get it all around the bottom Now I made one area where it's like a lot of little big place and it branches out and has some little things here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some Q-tips and I'm going to cut the tips of the Q-tips off. Send that flying. All right, sort of. Fuzz it up just a little bit. And then where I had those, where they come out, I'm gonna take a little dot and we'll stick that right there. All right. Do a little dot. And st stick it on. Dot. Sorry if my hat got in the way. Upside down. All right, and maybe back here, you know, I can actually put like a couple together. Now, got a little spider layer, maybe some spider eggs, got some web traps maybe, comrade that's been captured and that's why you're going down there hopefully to get to him before he gets eaten and then you make these thin enough to where whatever dungeon tile you make you can just place it on top and it doesn't really raise it too high because they're nice and thin. All right, well that's the good old spider tiles.